Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, unusual sort of a fly for me uh, tonight, and um, this is a dapping fly. So this is the Loch Ordy dapping fly. There are really only three materials in it, and if you wanted, you could even dispense with the tail of it. But uh, we're using a a single salmon iron here. This one happens to be a size ten Wilson, and for a tail, we're going to use a bit of cock pheasant tail. I'm going to pull these fibres out. You see I'm pulling them back so that they line up and once they're perpendicular to the stock I'll pinch real tight and pull them off and that'll line the tips up for you. So it's a good thick bunch of that. Tie that in and then we'll run it forward there. And that uh, will give us a sort of a, an even base. I'll run it as far as the return eye and then we'll trim that off. So the other two materials in this we're going to use like a genetic type uh, saddle feather. This one is uh, like a red game type colour. And I'm going to take that from around about here to the back. I'll tie that in and wrap back. Take my tie and thread down to the tail, and then this we just need to get started. And then we're going to wrap it backwards in touching turns. That's why you need a good long quality feather for this otherwise you're going to end up putting on multiple hackles and a whole lot more awkward. When I get to the back here I'll just take a couple of turns across it and then I start to wiggle my tie-in thread up through the hackles. Now I'm trying not to catch anything and bind it down but by coming across this because the hackle was going uh, backwards at this angle my tie-in threads crossing out at this, so I'm essentially tying in each turn of uh, hackle there, making it more secure. So now we'll take our thread to the front where the eye essentially is going to be, and here we're going to start with a white uh, saddle hackle, and the same again. We're tying it in in the sort of traditional dry fly direction, if that makes sense to you. Again, taking my thread back now to where my uh, red game started and then I will start to wrap my white hackle. And again, I'm wrapping backwards. Trying to make touch and turns. Trying not to bind down too much hackle if I can at all help it. Now you could use your hackle pliers I just find, especially with this length of a hackle that I get away with using my fingers fairly well. So once we get back there, we're going to, same again, wind through all that, snap that off. Get to the front here. I'm just going to hold it all back so that I can make a head, but I don't really want to tie any of these fibers down. How essential is a head? Who knows? All back and finish. It's just all we have to do to finish the fly is to varnish the head. So take our varnish, pull this back, varnish that, and then clear the eye, and that's us done.
clear the eye out. And that is our lock already tapping clay. As you can see, a really simple pattern. Uh, and works for brown trout, sea trout and salmon on big lakes. And as you say, really simple to tie, so simple like I said my, my own son there had a go at it today, he was tying it for a competition. Uh, so if you like what you see, like, subscribe, tell your friends, uh, and until next time, tight lines and thanks for watching.